Welcome to week one of Vlogmas. I am going to be vlogging every single day from today up until Christmas and I'm going to be compiling that into weekly kind of compilations. <laughs> so this is the first one that's going to be up so welcome. Thank you for joining me here. Unfortunately we're starting on a little bit of a low that's life. Life happens. Keeping it real here. If you've read my weekly diary that I upload on my blog every week, I mentioned in the last one that I had bought a new PC or I had bought the parts for a PC and my brother was kind enough to build it for me, assemble everything and stuff and um, during the process at a certain point we accidentally formatted my hard drive and I lost everything. <laughs> everything that was on there. So all my videos I've ever made pretty much but what bothers me the most is that I lost all the footage that I shot at the at a, at a scouting camp last year that we do this the small camp every year it, it is based off of a show that comes on Dutch TV and I always film the whole thing and then try to edit it into kind of the same format as a TV show and this year I had put so much time and effort in I think I edited it for two weeks two whole weeks and I had made eight episodes of 45 minutes each and all of that is just gone and only Robert has seen them. So yeah that is pretty much what's killing me right now. I am so sad that all of that is lost and we were going to have this like big screening with all the candidates and everyone that joined and helped and everything and none of that's gonna happen now and everything's lost and I'm just and I actually paid a lot of money for recovery software that would recover everything of my hard drive and it recovered most of the raw files but not everything and the episodes that I had already rendered and kind of finished aren't on there either um, it, it wasn't able to recover everything so basically I wasted a lot of time and a lot of money and I'm just yeah I'm still processing that let's put it that way I mean nothing horrible happened no, no one got hurt and I'll get over it but it's just really really frustrating right now anyways it is Monday I spent most of the day at Robert's house as you could see and uh, I'm home now and I am about to head to dance class we are practicing currently for a performance on the 19th and it's pretty intense because we got notified very last minute that they would like us to perform there so that pretty much comes down to us having to learn one minute of routine every single week to be able to get the whole thing down before the performance so it's very intense so now you know what's happening let's get changed and head out everybody today is going to be quite a boring day I'm afraid I'm going to be here all day just catching up on work uh, doing some editing some writing tonight I'm going to head to dance class and maybe afterwards I'll go to Utrecht meet up with Robert quite a simple day of working from home today Razzies are eating back here Llewellyn has made a stash in his little bed 
right there. Look at that amount of food. He has just emptied the entire food thingy into his bed. <laughs> Ooh, hello, hello. Everyone's waiting for snow. Go, but look in the sky. I don't know. Santa, can you please make it snow tomorrow? Cause for Christmas Day, everything should be white, all glistening and brightly aglow. Running late for dance class. Better get there fast. Oh, pretty much actually running now. <laughs> Almost there. Conditions are perfectly cold. So come on already. Truth be told, this is really too much to be asking for. everybody welcome to Wednesday Robert's still in bed that's why I'm filming in the kitchen I've just been editing on my new PC which I will show you later when I get dressed and everything I woke up with a runny nose and a sore throat and I am so nervous now that I'm going to get sick and this is going to be the most boring vlogmas ever because I'm going to spend it in bed sick my whole family is sick I mean chances are that I caught something off of them so yeah, let's let's hope I don't. I've taken a load of vitamins this morning, so let's hope I make it through. I might get myself some ginger later and have some lemon and ginger tea, or a lot of lemon and ginger tea, and try to kind of battle this. Anyways, the plan for today is uh, to edit, do some blog posts, uh, going to town to buy Santa Claus presents. We are going to celebrate Santa Claus this weekend with Robert's family. Do the groceries. I am cooking for Dungeons and Dragons tonight. So yeah, I've already kind of planned out what I want to make. I want to make some loaded sweet potatoes. It's gonna be amazing, I hope. And I want to make cashew cream for the first time. So the market is um, out today in town, I'm pretty sure. So I might get myself some cashews there because they're always a lot cheaper at the market. My hair is terrible. I really, really should have washed it yesterday. I haven't washed my hair literally in like a week, guys. It is disgusting but i was we came home at around midnight yesterday and i was too tired and now i'm just too lazy so one more day of dry shampoo and then i'm definitely washing it tonight promise <laughs> we are almost ready to head out i'm just drinking my very very lemony tea here i wanted to make some ginger lemon tea but i don't have any ginger oh i forgot to put that on my list my little shopping list forgot to put ginger on um anyways we're gonna head into town to get some stuff and then hopefully go back home soon so that I can take it easy <laughs> for the rest of the day. I've got my ginger tea. I really don't feel that great, guys. I'm afraid I'm going to have to have a day in bed tomorrow. <laughs> but we'll see about that later. Um, we managed to buy everything we went out for, so that's great. Bag of presents. <laughs> I got some ready-made soup just in case I do get sick. And ginger tea. Oh, I really don't like ginger tea. <laughs> but it's really good for you.
Hey guys, just a little update. I feel terrible. <laughs> I've been in bed all day, um, pretty much just sleeping, watching YouTube videos, sleeping, drinking some tea, trying to drink some tea. And that's it. I really don't feel good. Now I'm just hoping I get better by the weekend, but I doubt it actually. My little update for today. <laughs> I think I will see you tomorrow again. Hopefully you feel a little better. Lentils make everything better, always. Good morning everybody! I am happy to say I feel a lot better today. Which is good because Robert had to leave this morning so I'm on my own now. <laughs> have to take care of myself. I can breathe through both nostrils now which is awesome. That whole steaming thing that I did yesterday was so good and then I realized that I have a humidifier so I popped some eucalyptus oil in my humidifier and it is so good so I'm gonna refill that in a minute and just have it on all day it is helping so much yeah my head hurts a lot less today there was a little moment this morning where I had my first cup of tea and I felt really sick afterwards but uh, yeah that's gone now as well and I just had a whole sandwich and I still feel good or a whole sandwich I had one slice of bread <laughs> I have a piece of fruit here that I'm gonna finish as well. We are celebrating Sinterklaas and Robert's families on Sunday and I really want to be there if I can. So I'm gonna try and take it easy today and hopefully feel better tomorrow and then just clean up and slowly make my way to my parents' house. Yeah, but we'll see how that goes. I'm definitely in no state to travel today at all. Better stay in bed for as long as possible. Are you guys hearing this? It's literally louder than the video I was watching and my bed is literally shaking like what is going on here? Be my downstairs neighbor, he's kind of weird but Dude, this is like extreme I'm not a fan of this genre of music I have to say I'm just really confused have my glasses here by my bed so that I can look out the window occasionally. I'm that person that just stares out the window and looks at people. But there's a lot going on outside my window so, you know, in my defense. Robert noticed yesterday that they were planting trees right outside my window which is so great. I am so happy there's three new trees. I love trees. I'm so glad that they're here. I hope they grow nice and big and strong. I really, really don't like being sick. I am just, I'm over it. I really hope I feel better tomorrow. So much love for sunsets. Oh, sunsets this time of year are just breathtaking. They make me so happy. I took a shower, yay. <laughs> Taking a shower when I've been sick always feels so good and I almost feel like human again. Um, I think I'm gonna just make myself a huge mug of that nasty ginger tea and then watch The Voice, go to bed, and hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow and feel even better than I did today. Right now I pretty much just feel like I have a bad cold, but at the same time my body is really weak and tired. <laughs> I'm having trouble holding up this camera right now. So I'm hoping tomorrow when I wake up I can manage to eat a little bit more food, get more energy into my system and then deal with stuff because you guys have no idea of the mess that is going on here. Like just a little hint right there, there is stuff everywhere and you haven't even seen the kitchen. The kitchen is the worst, it has not been cleaned since Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty bad. But hopefully I'll feel good enough to deal with that tomorrow. I'm also going to turn on my humidifier again with more eucalyptus oil. That has been a absolute lifesaver. See you later! Good morning everybody! Although I still look terrible, I feel a lot better today again. Um, I regained my voice even when I woke up this morning, I had no voice, but 
it's kind of black <laughs> so i think i'm gonna try and make my way over to my parents today but before i go i really really have to clean up here especially the kitchen so i think i'm gonna go in steps so maybe clean the kitchen or clean part of the kitchen then take a little break um rest for a bit clean a little bit more take a break and then um hop on the bus and just do the whole journey by bus i'm gonna skip all the bike rides because i'm not ready for that at all <laughs> so let's go I've made myself a quick soup out of a bunch of leftovers I had and I'm trying to get at least one video edited so that something can go up within the next couple of days on my new PC! Oh my gosh guys, editing on this is a dream. It is so much quicker and better, I am over the moon. This soup doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, because I can't really taste stuff, but yeah, not my best soup. Nah. It's a dose of vegetables and liquid, and that's what I need right now. I finally managed to get dressed, and I cleaned the room, most of it, made the bed, changed the sheets, because it's no good sleeping on, you know, post sickness sheets. I feel so much better already knowing that everything is clean and everything is done. Yeah, oh, there's something I wanted to show you guys. So while I was sick, a package came in and it is my dad's Christmas present. So dad, you're not allowed to watch from here. Sorry. Click away now, please. Excuse my voice, by the way, it's still all over the place. But I got a package um, from Yacht, the brand that does these wood watches. I wear this watch all the time, you've seen me wear it in so many videos. I don't think there's ever been a piece of jewelry, except for the necklace that my boyfriend gave me, that I've worn as much as this watch. I just, I love it so much. So anyways, the brand that makes these have offered to send me another watch to give to a loved one because they now offer a new service that um, where you can kind of engrave something onto the box the watch is coming and the watch itself so I really wanted to kind of make one for my dad and it just came in this so cool so I really wanted to show you just the box itself is gorgeous my engraving is in the back and I chose this rather cheesy but I mean I love this quote from the Lord of the Rings I just think it's a very beautiful and happy kind of quote to um give someone you know when you're giving a gift so yeah that's the one i went for of course you can engrave anything it doesn't have to be this long but i just i really wanted to go for this so inside uh this box is just gorgeous it comes with a um, little like drawer with a kind of microfiber cloth that you can use to clean the watch and then when you open it up magnetic lid <laughs> i just it is so cool and here is the watch itself this is so gorgeous I mean excuse my nails please but here it is it is wood like mine it's a little bit of a different color a little bit of a softer wood but this one actually has a little see-through thingy where you can see the actual mechanics inside the watch and it is so cool I just cannot get over how cool this is and I know my dad's going to love this 
so that's going to make him really really happy so thank you so much to your wood watches for giving me this opportunity to give such an amazing gift so if you'd also like to gift one of these wooden watches to a loved one of yours and have them engraved you don't have to by the way but you can get a cool engraving in there your were kind enough to give me a discount for you guys so if you use the link that i have put in the description then the discount is kind of automatically taken off of your purchase and they have free shipping yeah the sun is almost going down it is ridiculous how quickly the sun goes down these days it is oh, i'm wearing a watch it is three o'clock and i could already see the sun setting so i better finish everything off here do the dishes from my tasteless soup and head out I have come to Robert's for the city class celebration. I'm wearing my thickest sweater <laughs> and I'm still a little bit sick but it's gonna be okay. We are going to play a game later tonight with the presents. Everybody kind of bought a couple of kind of like neutral presents that could be for anyone and we put a little cryptical description on the presents so we don't actually know what's inside but it's kind of like a hint or something and we're gonna play some kind of game with them so you don't know which present you're going to end up with and you don't know what's going to be inside the present you end up with so it's gonna be lots of fun I think dark in here I hope you can see me sorry okay so I ended up with a rituals shower foam which I love very happy with that almond and sea salt dark chocolate bar which is really nice as well a chocolate letter and a book about oil and vinegar <laughs> so yeah that actually ended up really well could have been much worse Sunday is almost over so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to continue vlogging obviously next week. So I will see you again next Thursday. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. There is another video here that you may also enjoy that you can go watch next. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. You can do that by clicking here or the button below. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!